Hi guys and welcome to part 16 of our Blender Wally -E tutorial. So <clears throat> by the end of part 15 we'd already completed the body, the head and we'd started on the um, mobility mechanism down here at the bottom and we made this first cog which has been mirrored um, so it's copied onto both sides. If you jump across to our reference image you'll see that's this part that we've made. Um, now we're going to make the front cog here um, I'm going to have um, spokes on this, I'm not going to have a smooth wheel like that because uh, generally the front and rear of a track system would have um, these spikes to grip onto the, um, the track at the front as well. So that's going to be pretty easy to do, we're just going to copy and paste. So we'll go to our um, left view and we'll go control C and control V to copy this. We'll drag it to the front. Now it needs to be smaller, so we're going to scale this down to about this size. We'll move it down so it's about level with the rear one. We can line it up properly later. Now one thing that we need to do is scale it on the um, x-axis, because you'll see that scaled everything down, so now it's also thinner, but we need it to be the same width. So what we're going to do for that is scale on the x-axis. We'll zoom in on this area here. And scale, make sure we select the correct part. It's this only. Scale on the x, to make this wider. That it matches up with the same width as the rear and you'll see that also the mirror modifier has been copied as well so now we've got it at the front and back and now we can just drag this into position so it precisely lines up with the rear one in the same level and go to our left view and there we have it there's our front and rear wheels done so that was pretty straightforward to do um, to check our reference image. Now we're going to need these two wheels at the um, tops here, and these ones have have no spikes on. So we'll create those um, in a few moments. We also need to create this mounting bracket, which is holding these in place, which is tied back. And you can see in this um, other view, and also down. Uh, I think in one of these views here, you can see it underneath this chassis, which holds those um, tracks in place but we'll make that later we'll just work on these parts here that we can see to start with so we'll make this tube here which holds those two pieces together that will be pretty easy to do again here in object mode we're going to create a new object so it's going to be a cylinder um, we need to position it so it's going to be down here, we'll scale it, rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees. Okay, we'll scale it down a bit more. So it's got this sloped area at the front and then another pipe coming out which connects into the center of our cog there uh, and that's going to be the same on both sides so I'm going to go over now into edit mode we'll grab the end face and we're going to extrude this out. And then we'll scale that down. So it's our left view again. Scale that a bit more. And then we'll extrude out again.
I'm going to scale again. And a final extrusion out, like so. I go to the front view. We'll position this. So we're going to go back into object mode. In the center of our wheels there. Okay. And then we're going to want the same coming out of the rear of this. So back over into edit mode. Grab the back face. Extrude it out. Scale it down. Extrude again, scale down a little more, and one more extrusion there. Back to our left view. Um, okay, now this needs to be at a slight angle as you can see in the blueprint here. So we're going from the center of this rear wheel to the center of the front wheel. So Back over into object mode, we're going to rotate this Oops, over there. Object there, I've um, not extruded out correctly. For some reason it didn't extrude out in a straight line. Let the face view left view extrude scale. We'll just quickly remake that again. Like so same then for the rear extrude scale and extrude out again. Back to object mode. I think that's where I went wrong last time. We go to the front view, drag this into position. Back to our left view. And now we're going to want to rotate this around the x axis just a little bit. Like that. We're going to scale the whole thing down slightly also. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to want a mirror modifier on this as well. So we'll add a mirror modifier, and our mirror object will be the body. Now you can see we have that mirrored now on both sides. Then there's a bracket that holds this into place, um, which we'll make later. I'm going to do now these top two wheels with also the uh, the mounting system for those. So these wheels are going to be made in a very similar way to the cogs. A little simpler though as they don't have the prongs on them. So again we'll go to our left view. Uh, in object mode we'll create a cylinder. Which we're going to scale down. We'll rotate on the y-axis, 90 degrees. We need to position this. So it's uh, top of the track is going to approximately be in line with this circular part on the side of the wally body there. So we want this to be positioned probably around here. Scale it a little more. Actually going to move these all down a little bit. Okay, so spacing is a bit better. We'll move that down slightly. And I think it's horizontal positioning will be around there. Okay, so now we can go to the front view. We want it to align approximately with those. Scale on the x-axis.
get it the width that we want it to be scale a little more okay and now in um, edit mode we're going to make a loop cut around the center of this so tools um, loop cut around the middle and then we're going to select all of these edges around this end here select edge loops or delete all those edges select the edge loops again I'm going to select all these edges here So once we've got rid of all of these edges, we've got half of our cylinder which we're then going to mirror so that we have the same on both sides. Almost done. Okay, so now I've done that, I'll go back over into object mode. I'm going to add a modifier, which will be a mirror modifier. Mirror on the Z axis and on merge limit there. Okay, then we'll go back into edit mode. And we can begin to make the shape, which will be mirrored then on the opposite side. So I'm going to drag probably the face in first of all. I want to make this um, this flange here. And you can see it's also got a flange on the inside of it. So I'm going to grab that face and move that in. So I go to the front view here. So our flange will be about the same width as that. So we'll extrude out slightly and scale this up. Extrude again. Extrude, enter and scale. Extrude out again. Take a look at our reference image. Okay, you want to make this inside area so that will be extrude, enter, and scale. We're going to extrude inwards, extrude, enter, and scale again. We're going to extrude out and scale. Extrude out, scale, extrude out, and scale to make our inner part there. Okay, now we're done with that, we'll go back into object mode. Go to a front view, make sure everything's still about the right size. 
think that all still fits. It's okay. So we'll go to our left view. Make sure it's positioned as we want it. So the tracks are basically going to run up here, around, down, and around again. I'm going to scale that down slightly. It's a little large. Go to the front view again. We're going to need to scale on the X. And position it. Okay, back to the left view. I'm going to have one here. And we can now apply that mirror modifier. And we'll add a new mirror modifier with our mirror object being the body again. So now we should have that copied onto the opposite side. Copy and paste again. Move this down so it's at an angle. We want to follow the angle that the tracks are going to be running at. So they're going to be running up here. Most probably on the bottom. Up and around the top. Now we're going to want one of these to also hold this together. So control C and control V. So we'll minimize the amount of modeling we actually need to do by reusing pieces. We just need to scale it. We rotate it some more on the x-axis to line these up. Scale some more. Go to the front view. Okay. I just want to move this a little bit. As it scale this up a bit. Okay. So now we're done with those um, main roller elements. We're going to need to make the mounting bracket to hold this um, onto the bottom of the body there. Um, which you can see in the <coughs> construction details there. This bracket, which we'll make in the next tutorial. And once we're done with that, we can then begin modeling our actual tracks. And then we'll almost be done with our Wally model. So thanks for tuning in to tutorial number 16. Um, in the next tutorial, like I say, we're making that mounting bracket that holds everything into place. Followed by the tank tracks in the following tutorial. And then we're pretty much done for the modeling part of this Blender tutorial series for Wally. Um, at the bottom of this YouTube video, you can find a link where you can download the latest project file. So you can download this exactly as it is and um, see how we put things together. Um, so if you haven't been following along from tutorial part one, you can actually jump into this tutorial series at any point that you like and download the model from the last tutorial and be ready to continue with our tutorial series. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.